Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today, obviously, I'm looking a little different. Got my hair tossed up. It's greasy from yesterday. I haven't even brushed it, as you can see, just like my stringy hair. I'm in my pajamas. I have no bra on, and I have underwear on, though. And I brushed my teeth. I didn't wash my face, though, but I had a bagel. <laughs> And I plan on doing this video on body positivity and how to be comfortable in your own skin. And I came downstairs, I had a bagel, and I was like, let me go back upstairs because I wake up at 5.30 uh, mostly every single morning. I'm just an early bird. Um, so I was sitting and I was thinking, okay, I really want to do this video because I know it was going to be requested because if you saw my last video, I did an outfit of the day in a get ready with me. And I never do those types of videos, not because I'm ashamed of my body, not because I'm just shy. Um, it has to deal with having someone film me and to do that I had to take part of the weekend which me and Glenn have very little time and that took about like two and a half hours surprisingly uh, to get all those shots and stuff like that and to figure out what I wanted to do because I don't do those types of videos uh, but I was really happy I did and I knew when I posted that video uh, that I was gonna get requests on hey can you help me out like how to dress uh, my body like I'm curvy like you or hey can you do a video on body confidence like I like how you seem so confident in your you know your outfit and all that you know those types of remarks which I absolutely love and I've been planning on doing a video like this for a while it's just that I just never got to it you know and then I got those comments and I just thought hey this is like a perfect time to do that so I went on my Snapchat and I was talking about it on my Snap and if you follow me then you already know this and I was saying, hey, what do you guys think about a potty, a potty, a body positivity video and everybody was like, yes, 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 yes. I need some positivity in my life. I want to hear you speak on this. Like this is definitely what we need. And I totally agree with you guys because I feel like this kind of topic is just something that needs to be talked about and almost like reiterated even if someone's already talked about it because we need a constant reminder um, dealing with this sort of thing. Uh, this is going to be a very raw video so some things I may say you may not agree with, some things you may agree with. I'm going to be pretty raw and realistic from my own standpoint and my opinion, you know, if you don't agree. Um, I mean, that's just life. I can't say like, oh, well, I'm sorry you don't agree, too bad. It's, that's just how our world works, you know? Some people agree, some people don't. But also, if I am all over the place, it's because I was sitting in my bed with my notebook thinking, where do I start? What's the middle? Where's the end? I I never script my stuff. I honestly just go with the flow because I just can't do the scripted thing. If I do, it's just because... Um, a beauty product, I need to know how much it is or what the claim is and that's about it. But other than that, I freestyle my videos and this is gonna be very, very raw and freestyled and I honestly don't wanna even add any true edits to it. Maybe if I, you know, have some pauses or something, but. So again, if it's all over the place, I apologize, but this is just my mind just speaking and I don't know where to start or end, but let's just start right now. So obviously social media is all over from the tweeting to the snapping to the Instagram everything you know it is all consuming our lives and sometimes it may consume us too much where we're looking at all these things and it's almost becoming like full-on like this is the world we live in there's nothing outside of these social medias and it can consume us too much and I totally think that that's what's happening and there's nothing wrong with social media whatsoever I like going on Instagram I love looking at pictures I love seeing people's videos but sometimes it's just a little bit too much, you know, and obviously my job is all with social media and stuff like that, but I even limit myself. If you notice, I'm not always on my Instagram posting and it's not because I don't have anything to really post. It's just like, I just don't feel like being on it or say Snapchat. Sometimes I'm like super active and then sometimes I'm just like, boom, a magic act and I'm gone. And that's only because I like to limit myself with social media because sometimes it's just too much and I know that's what's good for me and for my own mindset. A lot of the times when you're seeing like, say for instance, Instagram, and I'm sure 99% of you are following beauty or fashion accounts because this is a beauty channel, and you see these pictures of these beautiful girls, all colors, all shapes, beautiful, stunning, and maybe you may not fall into one of those categories out of all these beautiful women and even beautiful guys that you may see and are just like, why don't I look like that? Wow, I wanna be that person. Man, you are goals, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of the times you have to understand that 
this is not like only our population what you're looking at. There are so many other people in this world that do not look like that. And I feel like when you're constantly seeing not saying like um like the same mold but almost like you know the same like winged liner and the same bold brows and the same body con dresses and the crop tops sometimes you think that's all that there is and that's not so you just want to think man like i want to be like her i wish my boobs were up like hers though her boobs are big or oh i want my butt like that or i wish my butt was more toned you know things that you just physically wish that you can change and and there's nothing wrong with wanting to aspire to be healthy because that I want to promote for you to be healthy mentally and physically. A lot of the times I see comments saying, man, you are goals, man, I wish I was you, but you have to love you because if you don't love yourself, who's going to love you? Yeah, other people may love you, obviously, your family and friends and all that, but for you to truly love you inside and out and you yourself, you have to love yourself or else who is? And there's nothing wrong with admiring other people, uh, but I want you guys to love you for you. I think it's great if you're like, hey, I want my hair like her. Man, I wish my boobs looked like that. Let's get a push-up bra, you know. Oh man, look at her tiny waist. Let's start waist training. Uh, those things, I mean, I think it's okay to a certain extent, but you can't obsess about it because you will always be you. Uh, maybe you're looking at these pictures and maybe some of them weren't born that way. They might have gotten a, like a little nip and tuck with it, which I find nothing wrong with. If someone wants to alter how they look, they're, and I hope they're doing it for themselves, then do it for themselves, you know? Uh, but if you're doing these things just because you're seeing everyone else do them, then maybe you're just like, man, like maybe I should do it too because honestly, I will be completely honest. Sometimes I see some of these girls at these events and I'm like, man, her boobs look so good. Like I have big boobs, I have a 36D, but they are not like up here. They're saggy, I'll be very honest. I don't like the way they personally look. I mean, I've grown to love them uh, and that's what I have. So I just think, okay, I'll wear like a bra that lifts the babies up. But sometimes I would think in my head, man, I really want my boobs to like her. Maybe I'll go get a boob job. Just because I was seeing all these like, like boobs that were just so perfect. And in my head I was thinking, I don't even want a boob job for myself. It's only just because I'm seeing what everyone else is doing. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want you guys to change something on your outer appearance just because you constantly see this. When you follow these beauty accounts and fashion accounts, a lot of the times, and I'm not talking crap, I promise you, but a lot of the times, a lot of the girls look the same. It's so a wing liner, I've done it. Bold brows, I've done it. But it's because this is like what's trending. So they're all in this community. So they're everyone's trying to keep up with what's the biggest trends. Let me do my wing liner super huge. But not everybody is always like that every single day. I mean, look at me. I honestly, I'm just chilling. I need, you know, some deodorant because the lights are going hot on my pits right now. But that's just what it is, you know. Um, a lot of these girls obviously are looking very similar but at the same time, that is not our whole outside world. Um, dealing with body positivity, and again, I'm sorry if I just go all over the place. Okay, so now let's go to body positivity. Um, a lot of people always say like, oh, how are you so confident, blah, blah, blah. I am not always the most confident person. Let me just say that right now. I definitely have my own insecurities. I have been up and down in my weight so much within my life. I am not someone where I can just eat a hamburger, eat a cheeseburger, not go to the gym, or I can, you know, I'm someone where I just need to go to the gym. Uh, that's just how my body has always been. I have never been super thin. If when I was at my thinnest, maybe I don't know how I got that thin, um, but I know that I was thin in certain times in my life because I was doing diet pills and I was exercising like crazy where I was almost fainting. I was starving myself and, <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> now I just look like a hot mess, but this is reality. I I'm gonna say something. I don't think my family knows and they've watched my channel. Obviously they watch my channel, but at one point in my life, I was throwing up my food and I've never said that to anybody, like ever. So it's kind of hard for me to say it on camera. Like I've been there, you know? And I know some of you have. And I just don't want to disappoint anybody, you know? And it just sucks when 
when you get so consumed with all of these things or all of these, you know, views of what's supposed to be supposedly beautiful in this world or what some beautiful woman is supposed to look like, you know? And, um, sorry, I don't mean to cry. <laughs> it's just, I've never said that, like, out loud. And, um, yeah, it was, I, um, I'm sorry, I've never said that out loud. I've never told anyone. I think I told Glenn I've done it a couple of times, like, before. But at one point, I really was. And I just thought, okay, let me just, like, I'm so sorry. I've just never said that to, like, anybody. And especially, it's going to be said to thousands of people. My family doesn't even know. Um... You know, I'm like in a vulnerable spot right now. Lots of people are going to see this and, and my family watches this and I just don't want to disappoint anybody, but this is life. People make mistakes. People go through stages of their life. And it's like crazy. I don't know. I just feel so like whew. it's a big thing to say for me personally. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of you have gone through it and you haven't said anything, but obviously that's not the healthy, um, you know, way to go. It's just that I just got so just pounced on and just felt so much pressure just because of what others think and what you're supposed to look like and this is how your body's supposed to be and like I said I've never been like the itty bitty one um and and today I'm very happy to say I feel pretty damn confident in myself um I feel beautiful I think I'm beautiful and I think it's good for all of you to always say you know what even though there's things that I may want to improve, I'm freaking beautiful, you know? I, I love who I am. And, and the thing is, is there's just so many other things to care about in life. Other things have deeper meanings other than just physicality, you know, or, oh my God, your lashes. Or, oh my God, your lashes. Yeah, all that stuff is fun. But when it comes down to it, your mental health is extremely important. Um, man, this video <laughs> went for a turn. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. Let's just get into it. I've already done my initial cry, so let's go full force. Um, and I think this will, this story will help a lot of people too because I don't know, maybe just to help open up your eyes, maybe of people who might be in the situation. I was in a super shitty relationship for about like three years, and I was with someone who. I thought was really someone who loved me. Um, I thought that tough love was good. Uh, it, it was basically like, oh man, like you look so beautiful, but we can really work on that fat on your stomach or come on, let's tone up your arms because you don't want to be like this girl and like maybe someone who we know. And it was just like constant, 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 you know? And like even I remember for our first Valentine's Day, he bought my gym membership, which I already had a membership, but like he renewed it. And at the time I was like, oh, heck yeah, like I don't have to pay a gym membership. That's cool. But really the reason why he bought it was just because he just wanted to like, you know, continuously have my ass in the gym. Um, now that after everything has happened and all that, you know, like it all makes sense. And... And whenever we would go out or anything, it's always like, oh man, look at that girl. You don't want to look like her. Oh man, look at her. Don't you, aren't you glad you're, you don't look like that? And like, I was in the gym for so long and I was really trying. If you guys look at my previous videos, I am much thinner. Um, maybe at one point I was like kind of healthy, but, um, and I constantly had this person always commenting on my body and on my weight and saying how good it is that I'm losing weight and how I'm looking so much better and I'm just gonna live a happier life just because I'm looking better, you know, aesthetically, like just more pleasing to the eye. And that's not what body positivity is. You wanna be comfortable in your own skin, but you're not trying to change yourself where you're like, oh, I don't wanna look like this person. I don't wanna, no, you wanna do it for yourself and for your health and for you. Not because what everybody else thinks, you know? And, um, yeah, that, that relationship was really hard on me just because even though on the outside I may have looked like, woo, like I'm super happy, like my life is going great. Deep down, like after a while, I started really realizing this shit is so wrong. Like what am I doing? 
you know? Um, I'm not going to get too into, like, the end of the relationship, but it did get physical and stuff like that, and then that's when it ended, you know? But, like, really, like, analyzing everything that happened within those years, you know, sometimes you just get clouded. Um, your, your mind is just distracted, and you think, oh, man, I'm in this relationship. This is the best shit ever, but it's really not. Just because, you know, when you get used to someone, you think that they can do no wrong and they mean no wrong. And yeah, you may think certain things are weird, but you always just go back, you know, or you think it's okay. You think it's normal just because that's what you're always hearing. And at that moment in my life, honestly, I was really unhealthy, especially mentally. I was constantly always thinking like, oh man, what do I look like? Oh man, let me suck my stomach in. Oh man, let me do this. You know, um, I... And I was doing other sorts of things that were just so unhealthy in order to make myself look like how I was supposed to look. And I always thought, I just look so fat still. And like when I look at myself, yeah, I was way thinner. And I'm just like, how could I call myself fat? Like, it's crazy. Like I look at pictures and I'm like, whoa, like I was so much thinner. Like I was in the gym a ton, but at the same time, it wasn't really a healthy balance because, um... This person really liked to drink a lot and get really kind of like, uh, you know, so I was someone where I was like, you know what, I'm going to drink a lot because I don't want to have to basically deal with this. It was like I was, I just wanted just to ignore the issues, the problems and just go with the flow. It's like since they were completely wasted, then I had to get wasted in order for me to have a good time and feel okay within the day and night or whatever. And that's probably one of the reasons why I don't really, you know, I don't like to party. I don't like to drink a lot. It's like... I've had a phase in my life where like, I just don't want to do that anymore, you know? So, um, if anybody's ever wondering, cause I've gotten some comments like, how come you never grow out? That it, drinking is not life. Partying is not life. And you know, I went through an, a time in my life where, yeah, I was doing that like a shit ton. Um, and that's just not what life is. I want to create memories. I want to have moments in life where, um, I'm proud of, I want to grow as a person, stuff like that. So once I got out of that relationship, honestly, like, I kind of was so over the gym because I was so hounded to go all the time that I wouldn't say necessarily I let myself go right away, but I wasn't as like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I can't eat this. I, can't. I felt like more like, whoo, like free. Like I did lose like 20 pounds, you know? I mean, okay, now fast forwarding all the way until now, obviously I've gained weight, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. People gain weight, people lose weight. We're never the same weight. That's just how life is. Um, if you are the same exact weight every single day, whoo, props to you, you know what I mean? But I'm just coming from my point of view. Um, I gain weight when I get stressed. Um, I'll eat one large meal within the day and I'll be unhealthy, you know what I mean? I was, I would drink kind of like sugary drinks, like margaritas and stuff like that when I do have drinks. Um, you know, stuff that did make me gain weight and I know what it did. Um, you know, but there's things that I can do to change that. You know, if I don't like the way I look, I don't like the way I feel. Uh, now, present day, you know, I'm feeling really good about myself because I surround myself with people who are positive in their mindset. I surround myself around people who don't constantly always say, oh, I want to be like this or, oh, I really want like that, you know, that are just concentrating on physicality. Uh, and it is true. You are who you surround yourself with. You, um, people around you are going to be an influence. Like I said, when you continuously look at all these accounts, from these beautiful girls and all that, that's all you see, that's all you're gonna think, you know? So you have to like jump out that bubble and really see the world as it is. I think like the average size right now for a woman is size 14, uh, so I guess I'm average, <laughs> you know? And yeah, uh, I mean, it's, I know this video is all over the place, I'm just trying to think of what else I wanna say. Even gaining weight, I'm not gonna lie, when I would see comments of like, are you pregnant, are you pregnant, are you pregnant? Anyone who is commenting that, honestly, uh, they're hurting themselves in something else because if you are being a keyboard warrior, that's a, Glenn and I say keyboard warrior, like what good are they getting out of that? There's like nothing. It's just a comment. You have to think, oh, it's someone from no one, you know? But say in real life when you do get like these comments like, oh man, you've gained weight, it's almost like, why are you coming at me when you're supposed to be someone who loves me or supports me? Uh, again, going back to the thing, um, the point of you have to surround yourself with the right people. Obviously, people make remarks. People have different personalities, stuff like that. You know, and people may sometimes say things wrong. Again, I apologize, but this is just girl time. This isn't like some cut and paste type of video where it's like robotic and scripted. And for myself, I'm constantly going through the struggle of, 
uh, loving my body and disliking my body. Um, I've told Glenn a lot of times, like, oh man, I look so fat, you know what I mean? But it's because I'm I'm looking at all these pictures constantly and surrounding myself with all these pictures and thinking what's supposed to be right, like I said, and, and it gets to me. So that's why I kind of take a break for certain social medias and stuff like that because I have to check myself back to reality. And I think it's always good for everyone to kind of like reset themselves. So if you're someone who's constantly, if you're noticing you're getting into a habit of, I wish I was her, I wish I had this, I wish I looked like that, maybe you should cut it down a little bit because it really takes um, a lot of mental strength in, uh, for you. And I'm sure some of you are like, really? It doesn't, it's not hard. No, it does. It Mentally, I'm telling you, when you see all this stuff like constant, constant, constantly, it F's you up, you know what I mean? You're someone where you think, I mean, who doesn't want to be pleasing to the eye? Who doesn't want to be like that beautiful girl? You know, people want to be things that people see in a good light, obviously. No one's like, oh, screw that. I want to, you know, have my hair greasy. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But I'm just saying, most of the time, people, you know, when they go out and all that, they don't want to look like, you know, bottom of the barrel. They want to feel like that beautiful person and they get ready and all that. But at the same time, you have to get ready for yourself and feel good for yourself. And, and you know, not just for other people because you're scared of what, how the world is going to view you. And like I said, a lot of the times I have struggled with my body weight. Um, I felt really down about myself. Glenn is honestly super supportive. He makes me feel really confident in myself. Uh, he also really helps me in reminding myself that I am beautiful and to love myself. And I hope you guys can do that too. I mean, and I'm not only talking about people who are more curvy on the plus side, um, side. Uh, this also goes for people who are really thin. I've known people who are so thin and people are like, damn, that girl is anorexic and they eat, they exercise, they're just naturally thin. And I know that they've tried to gain weight to get, you know, more meat on their body and they just can't, that's just how their body type is. This is going from girls who are also athletic and they're like, man, I feel so manly, but that's beautiful, girl. If you got those biceps, freaking flex those babies, you know? This is regarding all different body types because everybody deals with something different. If you're super, super skinny, then they're like, oh, she's anorexic, she needs a hamburger. But if she's like a normal weight and she doesn't have and maybe any boobs or but they're like, oh man, that girl needs some fake tits. Maybe she needs to get some ass injections. Or say like a girl's athletic, man, she's manly. Like what is she gonna do? She looks like a football player. Or you see a girl who, you know, has gained weight. Oh man, what's wrong? She's letting herself go. Is she pregnant? Blah, blah, blah. Or you see someone who's really curvy and they're like, she's unhealthy, she eats too much. What is correct? Which one is the category? And the answer is there is no correct way that someone should look. You know, everybody is saying this, not that, that, not this. And because there is no category, you are beautiful for you. You are your own category. And that's awesome. That means that we all are on top. We all have our own, you know, platform. We all have our own area that we're in and we're all together as one. And we should all accept everyone, no matter what, no matter what size color, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're all on the same playing field. And it's up to you to live your life in a positive way, to surround yourself with positive people, to think positive, you know, thoughts. I always think like, okay, positive mindset, positive vibes, positive environment. Say even dealing with makeup, just dealing with the face, like if someone has fake lashes and all this, like I've gone through a lot of encounters at the gym, just because I have my lashes and makeup on, who cares? I'm still the same person with the makeup and without the makeup. I can rip off those lashes, take off all this like how I am, and I still am this, ow, that was my life. I still am the same person. I have not changed. I had a lot of people before in the past come up to me and like, man, like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like now getting to know you, like you're super chill, goofy, like you like to, you know what I mean, be like a jokester and all that, you're so chill. I honestly thought you were a bitch. Why would you think I'm a bitch if you've never even met me or talked to me, period? And I know it's very easy just to judge a book by its cover and that's just what happens, you know what I mean? And that's what we do. I am not innocent. I have done it before and I know you guys have too. You know, I'm not sitting here like an angel and, um, and we've all done it, but I've had that encounter. It's like, why just because I have my makeup on and stuff like that and they're like, oh, I just thought you thought you were the shit, blah, blah, blah. It's like, 
how I've never said one word to you. Like you know nothing about me. And I've gotten that quite a bit at the gym. Uh, and, and same thing, like I've actually had a previous girlfriend where I'm not friends with anymore and she was just always so judgmental, like, oh, look at that girl in her high heels and her hair and her makeup all done. Uh, she thinks she's this and this and that. Or I'm like, you don't even know her. Like, you don't know her. Like, who cares? Like, that's good. She wanted to get ready. She wanted to get it done up. She, done up. She looks beautiful. One thing that we fail to do in this life is to compliment other people and uplift them and and we should rise all each other up instead of bringing each other down. Who wants to be freaking pushed down to the ground? Nobody. I sure know as hell I don't. And I'm sure you don't either. So why would you do, do it to someone else? Why would you do that? We honestly have to check ourselves sometimes, you know? Like, hey, like, why am I feeling this way about someone if I don't really know them? Or why am I thinking this way negatively when that doesn't even affect me, you know? It's just crazy how involved other people can get into other lives and judge them when they have nothing to do with them. At the same time, like I said, we have to remind ourselves, we have to compliment other people. Sometimes I'll see a girl and I'm like, damn, her makeup looks really good. And I'm like, hey, I really like your makeup, it looks good. And I don't say like, oh, I have a YouTube channel, blah, 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 and I love it. You know, I just, that's it. I'm like, oh my gosh, your makeup looks so good. And I, I've gotten encounters where like, oh, like they're in shock that I complimented them. And it's so sad that lots of people will be in shock of the compliment. I'm just thinking, damn, I would think people would really just uplift you and compliment you at least every now and then because it looks like she usually put together, you know? Um, at the same time, I've gotten responses of like, thanks. You know, where it was just think I was just thinking, I just complimented you. You can't take the compliment. And that's one thing that I know I have a downfall is in is sometimes I can't handle compliments and it's really sad that a lot of us are like that and I'm sure you guys have been in that position where you have maybe some random stranger and I, like I said I'm not innocent I have a lot of downfalls or things that I need to personally work on like I've been complimented before and I'm like oh no it's just my makeup when someone says like oh you like you wow you look really beautiful I'm like oh it's all makeup but it's just, but I'm thinking, why would I just say, oh, it's all makeup? No, I do look beautiful. I, I, I like the way I look. I like the person who I am. Why can't I accept the compliment? And I'm sure a lot of you have been in that position where someone goes up to you and compliment and like, oh no, like my hair looks like crap. Or, oh no, this is just, you know, some old outfit when someone compliments you. It's like, no, you take that compliment and you run for it. You know what I mean? Why not? Let's uplift each other. Man, this video went all over the place. Honestly, I feel like I'm like, oh, 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 there's just so much for me to say and I feel so warmed up. Okay, well, I'm just gonna end the video right there because I've been talking for so long and I feel like I've jumped all over the place. Uh, I feel like I've shared a secret with you. I feel like I've, you know, kind of touched base on quite a few things and I don't want to ramble too much, but I can always do a part two. So go ahead and thumbs this up if you want a part two. Um, I really enjoy this. And also this is therapeutic for myself as well for just talking about this stuff and also reminding myself because we always need a reminder. Just remember just to love yourself inside and out no matter what. We're all in the same playing field. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. We're our, we are all our own category and also uplift other people in any way. If it's like from a compliment to helping someone to, you know, just encouraging someone to whatever they want to do from career to weight loss, maybe weight gain, school, um, hobbies, instrument, whatever it is, you know, just uplift others because you would want others to uplift you. Uh, that's all I'm going to end right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And again, I love you guys. Uh, I do. I think you guys are all beautiful inside and out. I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you because you guys send me the sweetest snaps, the sweetest comments, and I appreciate all of that, and I hope I can maybe bring as much happiness that you guys have brought to me out to you. So I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Whoop, whoop.